Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to connect up to eight controllers. Yes, that is cor correct, up to eight controllers to your EPSXE emulator on the Windows machine or on Linux. The process is exactly the same. So, first of all, I want to tell you what this tutorial isn't. This isn't how to, you know, connect up and configure a specific controller like a PS4 controller or an Xbox controller. I've got videos already covering that on all the different, you know, OSs with, you know, different major controllers. So feel free to check them out. This video assumes that you know how to connect up an individual controller. It doesn't have to be a game controller. It could be some other input method that you've got working with EPSXE. It could be keyboard, for example. So what you can do with a real PlayStation, you can get... I've got a... You can get something called a multi-tap device, which is one of these. And one of these allows you to have four controllers. And because there's already two, you know, ports on the PlayStation 1. So if you plug two of these in there, you would have four plus four, which is a total of eight controllers. Very few games support it, but there are actually a surprising you know number of them it's not like one or two either and some people might want to do this so if i go to the wikipedia link you can see all the games that support you up to three players four players we'll be using crash team racing just to test it out and then there's five players and up to eight players fifa nhl i think those are the common ones that pr probably people would have used like the sports ones i would say so yeah, so this tutorial is going to show you how to set that up. I'm going to do up to four players because that's what Crash Team Racing supports, but the principle is exactly the same. So usually if you want to configure your controller, you go to config, game pads, port one, pad one, and you, you'll configure it. I've already done it for my Xbox controller. And you can go to gamepad port two, but if we go to port one or port two, you can see say pad one, two, three, or four. This is you know the multi tap, but I can't actually click on two, three, or four. If I want to do that, you have to click multi tap. And now, if I go to port one, I can select pad one, which I've already got configured, and I can also select pad two, which I haven't configured yet. I'm literally only going to configure the X key because that will allow the player to go just to test it out. So I'm going to say X for this one. For second player, I mean third player, I'm going to do C, which is next to it. And this will just allow our kart in Crash Team Racing to actually move. And again, this is just for testing purposes. You will most likely want to map all the controls. And you might actually have individual controllers set up. So I've got all four controllers mapped up in a way that I can test it. And now, uh, also... Obviously, if you wanted to have up to eight players, you go to port two, enable multi-tap on that, and you can configure the others. Something else to bear in mind is make sure you set up the multi-tap before you launch up the game. There are there is the odd game that supports hot swapping with the multi-tap, and that's just a limitation of the game itself. If you had original PlayStation, and if you was to take your controller out, plug in the multi-tap, it may or may not work depending on if the console was off or already on with the game, you know, from the start. So I would say just get it configured from the start before you launch up a game. So now let's run an ISO. Uh, my game list let's see refresh and, uh, the reason it's not there is because it's in a bunch of folders so let me just I'll just run the ISO so if we go to downloads chrome emulation EPS 60 ISOs and crash team racing okay so if I open up the bin file as you can see, it's recognized here as multi-tap. And so let's go wait for the game to launch up. It is. Start your engines! Sony Computer Entertainment and News of Production. Fasten your seatbelts for another. Multi Dog Creation! Uh, I'll just 
skip that and okay so if we you know wait for it wait for it load in it is so awesome that since ps3 you've been able to connect going to get into the game and just show you it working but yeah that is how you you know you, you've seen the main part the multi tap part Connect up to connect more than two controllers up to your PlayStation One emulator, the EPSXE emulator. So you can have up to, you know, theoretically up to eight individual players. You know, they could be mapping it on eight individual input systems, maybe eight game controllers, PS3 controllers, PS4 controllers, maybe you know somebody has a preference for like an Xbox controller, maybe a PS4 classic controller. The, the, that controller I do love because it literally just plug and play and it just does work and it's like an original PlayStation 1 controller without the analog sticks, a PS4 controller, PS3 controller, you know, you, you can really go crazy with it. So that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message and as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.